Hello everyone. Today's video is on the supermoon and the 1111 shift and also the December 21st shift to come. There are many implications which are linked to the special lunar event beyond any scientific meanings, of course. The biggest one is the cosmic shift in energy that will accompany it. The supermoon is not just a supermoon. It's not just the biggest it's been in about 68 years, but it is speaking the November supermoon will occur when the sun is in Scorpio and the moon is opposite in that, in Taurus. Okay, so this brings to the forefront a sort of tug of war between the powerful, determined, and intense Scorpio energy and the responsibility craving, actually, of Taurus. This result will clash and it will create a burst of energy which can either embrace and grow with or oppose and struggle against. If you choose to welcome the shift with a positive attitude, then equally positive effects can be gained from it. It is an opportunity to reevaluate your goals and how to best achieve them. Whether it's the way you may be striving towards will need to be tweaked in a little bit and little minor adjustments will be made in order to keep in that reach and sight that you have. Or the practical and responsible side of tourists will aid you in making the best possible choices. So don't put off any goals or reassessments because now is the time for that. Now is the time to move forward. It is also time to stay grounded and don't let a sense of self-importance or entitlement get the best of you and drag you down. Try to stay conscious and present in the moment. This should make a difference. Be aware of your ego and how you lash out. And don't get caught up in it. If you get caught up in your ego, then you're losing out on anything. If and stable, then everything will go a lot smoother. There will also be a noticeable change in many of us in the days leading up to the super moon. It's going to feel much more emotional than usual. All full moons actually tend to bring out that crazy side of people. <laughs> Yes, uh, the term lunacy. But the extreme proximity of this supermoon will end up supercharging and feeling emotions. By being aware of this, you'll be better prepared to stay grounded. The moon will not end up wreaking havoc on your emotional sanity this time. Because what is going to happen December 21st was already determined by November 11th. It's a short burst. It's just a short burst of energy that you are going to feel this emotional. And then as long as you are grounded, healing will commence. Going forward, this is the perfect time to strengthen and heal any arguments with friends and family. The parent-child bond is especially highlighted. Especially highlighted because the time and energies that we are ring should be focused on representing and honoring our close family relationships especially your loved ones uh, masculine energy and feminine energy are, are going to be merging as one so to speak that's how we're going to grow and succeed in life mentally spiritual and emotionally when we and our loved ones are supporting each other on every side and this super moon is what is going to manifest this to happen it is a perfect time to nest uh, with the moon being in Taurus, the sign of stability and security, loving traits will be highlighted. And you'll want to do nothing more than to stay at home and relax. I know I do. Try to break free from all the toxic people in your life. You know who they are. The ones that drain you emotionally and the ones that just hurt you for no reason for their own personal gain. They drag you down and hold you back. And you need to reassess your relationship with these people and distance yourself as far as you can because the situation will only completely complex your stages of moving forward and those people will also get their chance but it's not today as you are trying to allow yourself to expand and grow try to distance yourself from the negativity don't allow anybody to take advantage of your kindness okay put an end to that Put an end to that right now and move on. It's a mainly positive supermoon shift. And if you don't fight it and go with the flow, then you can better connect with that energy that it brings. Coming up on 
December 21st, there is another portal opening that is a huge, huge impact for the next six to seven years. Anyways, I uh, thank you for watching. I will make a video on that. Peace.